Hello YouTube, so today I'm going to be sh doing a video showing you how to make Persian juje kabob. Now, usually the Persians make this with the chicken thigh, but I'm doing a westernized version which is with the chicken breast. Now, it is tender, but obviously if you want a nice juicy chicken, just use the thigh. It's the same principle, same recipe. So basically get your chicken breast, and you want to just dice them up into little one centimeter to two centimeter cubes just like that so do that with all your chicken now the recipe I'm doing here is based on two kilograms so I'll be putting the recipe in the link if you're doing more if you're doing less just give or take from the actual ingredients Once you've got it all chopped and diced up, just add it into a big bowl and then we'll get started on the rest of the recipe. So I'll just show you how the chicken's cubed up. So they're all about one centimeter pieces there. Okay, what we're gonna do next is get one brown onion and basically we're just gonna slice this and add to the chicken. So half. So that's one onion to two kilograms of chicken. Okay, onions in there. Now we're gonna add about a quarter cup of oil. Now I prefer to use either canola oil or sunflower oil. Then we'll add a quarter cup of lime juice. Now this here is Persian lime juice. And about three tablespoons of saffron water. Now we'll be adding in our spices. So just in a bowl here, I've got two tablespoons of salt, one tablespoon of turmeric, one tablespoon of paprika, and one tablespoon of black pepper. Try to mix that all in the bowl so you get an even covering. That's good enough. And just add that in. Okay guys, so I've just added two to three tablespoons of Greek yogurt as well. And that's just going to tenderize and marinate it. So all we have to do now is just mix it all together. Now you want to make sure you mix it thoroughly so all the ingredients cover everything. You don't want everything just in one space. Okay guys, so that's it there. Now what you want to do is just glad wrap this and leave it in the um, fridge for probably say four hours or overnight. Then just skewer them and grill them. Don't fry them. Alright, hope you liked the video. The recipe will be in the description. If you like it, please like and subscribe so I can put some more videos up. Thanks guys.